What's going on YouTube? Nargles here, back with another World of Warcraft video. Today we are taking a look uh, at something very interesting and long time forgotten. A deep throat warrior in vanilla, aka classic WoW. Yes, you heard me. Turtle WoW made it possible. Speaking of Turtle WoW, I don't really have much to say other than that it's an amazing vanilla plus quotes free to play quotes server that managed to beat a blizzard yes they did beat multi-billion dollars company cause blizzards classic wow season of discovery or retail is not worth your time and your money i am telling you this from my own personal experience cause i spent a day or two over there <laughs> if you get me on uh, Classic WoW, uh, it just uh, paid to win, uh, Season of Discovery is falling apart and uh, uh, Retail, uh, I don't know, I just uh, checked some videos on uh, YouTube and uh, it's, uh, it's disgusting. But alright, that's a totally uh, different topic, uh, check out Turtle WoW, uh, I guarantee you that you won't regret it. Okay, so I might make a mistake here and there because everything is still fresh and new. Correct me down in the comments below. Players still exploring new things and will explore for quite a while. Let's jump to talent points first, then we'll talk about gear. Okay, so uh, what I was trying to build, I mean, what I what I built is uh, arms, prot. Uh, there will be only two talents in uh, Fury Tree. All right, let's start with uh, improved heroic strike. Three out of three. Tactical mastery. Five out of five. You retain up to 25 of your rage points when you change stances. An amazing uh, talent. Uh, improved rent, uh, which uh, leads us to deep bounds. Your critical strikes causes the opponents to bleed, dealing 30% of your melee weapon's average damage over 6 seconds. An amazing, amazing talent. Then we have improved over power and then impale. Increases the critical strike damage bonus of your abilities by 20%. That's huge. Just look how perfectly deep wounds and impale stacks with uh, OP. And uh, yeah, that will be pretty much in, in uh, uh, arms tree. In uh, Fury Tree, we are going for Cruelty, uh, just two points. Uh, now, over here in uh, Protection Tree, uh, five out of five uh, shield specialization increases your chance to block attacks with a shield by 5% and generates five rage when uh, a block occurs. Uh, it might look uh, a little but uh, five rage uh, five rage points is uh, a lot every time you block especially uh, especially because uh, shield slam I mean improved shield slam reduces the cooldown of shield slime by uh, 1.5 seconds and using this ability will also grant you an extra 70% chance to block uh, the next attack within 4.5 seconds so that's 10 rage instead of 5 you know what i mean if you remember if you remember from uh, old fury prot uh, build uh, improved shield block uh, that grants you uh, two blocks uh, if things uh, go wrong uh, if you have to equip the shield that's what improved shield slam does now you have two blocks instead of one uh, so yeah uh, anyways let me let me uh, let me let me go uh, 
let me go uh, further on so we will have uh, two out of two in improved blood rage now uh, the last time I tested anticipation is uh, broken increases your defense skill by uh, 20 that's a lot 20 defense that's a lot I hope it will get fixed soon so uh, yeah toughness of course uh, 5 out of 5 uh, increases your armor value from items by 10% and the amount of damage absorbed by your shield uh, by uh, 15 uh, percent that's big uh, last stand of course over here uh, because uh, because anticipation isn't working yet i hope developers are doing something about it uh, we are going to put uh, two points in improved taunt reduces the cooldown of your taunt by two seconds all right uh, defiance of course defiance uh, increases the threat generated while in defensive stance uh, by an additional 15 uh, 15 percent then we are going five out of five in one-handed weapon specialization uh, which increases uh, one-handed melee weapons damage by 10 percent then we are going for shield slam then we are going for improved shield slam all right so slam the target with your shield causing 225 to 236 damage modified by your shield block value and attack power this attack causes a high amount of threat and has a 50 percent chance of dispelling one magic effect on the target and then we have reduced uh, the cooldown of shield slam by 1.5 seconds that's huge that's huge and using this ability like i mentioned before using this ability will also grant you an extra 70 percent chance to block the next attack within 4.5 seconds so basically you have you have two blocks you have two blocks uh, when you're using uh, uh, when you're using a shield slam so first of all you use your own block you know this is like you have shield block and then then sh improve shield slam uh, that's uh, that's uh, something amazing they added then we have defensive tactics while wearing a shield you retain up to 150 percent of the increased threat generation from defensive stance in other stances which means for example i am tanking in defensive stance and suddenly i get dodge on my npc on on boss or something i swap to battle stance and do that improved over power which increases the critical strike of your over power by 50 percent so that's that's a lot of threat over there if you know what i mean that's why tactical mastery and that's why improved over power that's why impale also because uh, impale uh, perfectly stacks with uh, overpower. It works with with uh, with uh, whirlwind, of course. If you, for example, if you if you want, I mean, uh, defensive tactics in uh, they they are working with uh, whirlwind. Also, if you are in berserker stance, uh, they're working with cleave. Uh, they're working with uh, with everything. It's just just amazing. It's just amazing uh, talent. So while wearing a shield you retain 150 of the increased threat generation from defensive stance in other stances so just imagine uh, what kind of what what amount of what amount of threat will you get uh, with uh, for example over power and that critical strike and the last talent uh, in the pro 3 is uh, concussion blow deals uh, 
235 damage and stuns the opponent for 5 seconds, but that's not what we want. This ability deals a high amount of threat and penetrates 50% of enemy armor. Enough said. An amazing, an amazing talent. Okay, so what will be the rotation of uh, Deep Prot Warrior? Of course, bl uh, first of all, you are going into Berserker stance. Then you are going uh, for Berserker Raid to take some uh, damage. Then you are going for Defensive stance because you won't lose any Rage because you have Tactical Mastery. Then you are opening a target with Concussion Blow. Then Shield Slam steps on scene. Then you are doing a Sunder. Then you are doing a choo -choo 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 -choo. Heroic Strike, uh, Revenge, etc. Uh, etc. Et that will be the rotation of, uh, of, uh, of, a, few, of a Deep Prot Warrior. Sorry. And uh, many times uh, your uh, your target will uh, dodge, so uh, don't forget to stance, dance, and uh, just smash it with your overpower over there. So let's repeat it once again: concussion blow into shield slam. I mean, just, just I forgot once again: berserker stance, berserker rage, in order that you get. Uh, rage, uh, enough rage, uh, because Berserker stance uh, is giving you uh, more rage uh, while you're being uh, hit uh, by something, uh, then uh, you are swapping into defensive stance and uh, you're opening again with uh, concussion blow, then goes shield wall, heroic strike, sunder armor and uh, revenge, sunder armor, Shield uh, slam, repeat, repeat, repeat. That will be pretty much the rotation of uh, of uh, Deep Prot Warrior. Simple as that. Now I didn't choose improve the revenge because uh, I don't I don't really fancy it. But uh, by all means, if you don't like this build. Uh, then uh, you can go for it, but uh, revenge does uh, revenge does small amount of damage. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's uh, much better to have deep wounds. It's much better to have impale. It's much better to have improved over power than uh, sacrificing all these beautiful things because of revenge. Yeah. So that will be pretty much it when it comes to talents. We have 17, 2, and 32. And by the way, uh, I forgot uh, when they fix anticipation, uh, so in Tower of Karas and uh, bosses will probably hit a lot. Uh, you will replace improved taunt with uh, 2 points in anticipation which will give you additional uh, 14 uh, defense skill which on which is amazing that's that's literally a ring or or a trinket you know what i mean you won't be able to to fill the whole talent uh, to increase your defense skill by 20 but you will you will have a uh, 14 uh, you will have 14 uh, plus 14 defense so yeah all right we cover the talents gear gear of year so i've seen a lot of deep prot warriors going in full mitigation sets such as the one you need to tank i don't know might now or Saffiron etc. That's in my humble opinion a huge mistake. See, you need to balance your stuff in order to get threat. 
and maintain your threat. Deep Prot works excellent with Fury Prot items. The only difference is that you are wearing a shield. You want that middle ground where you want to get hit to get rage, especially from Zerk rage, but still enough mitigation to lower the pressure on healers and keep yourself alive while maintaining the threat. You don't want to be too squishy, but you don't want to be a moving stronghold roaming around rage starving most of the time as well. You want something in the middle. Try getting rid of items that gives you parry. Try getting rid of items that gives you dodge, etc, etc. You get my point. You want first of all shield block value. Cause the more shield block value you have the bigger hits of crits or crits uh, with shield slams are. Then you want crit. Crit plays amazing role as well as attack power. Speaking of attack power, it also increases damage of your shield slam. It's not a big, big, big number, but hey, it increases damage of your shield slam. And remember, you are in defensive stance and you have defiance. You want to maximize that hit or crit on shield slam as much as possible. Even for 10 damage. Because it multiplies. You are in defensive stance. And you are under the effect of uh, defiance. Even for 10 damage. 60, 100, 200, 300. Not to mention that. That's a lot of threat. That's, 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 that's a lot of threat over there. So the more block value you have, the bigger shield slam. And try to, like I said, try to get rid of, uh, of, uh, useless items like, uh, the ones that gives you parry, dodge, etc, etc. You know what I mean. Alright, that will be pretty much it. Cheers and take care.